What is up guys, Cam's Kicks here bringing you guys another video and in this video I'm going to be bringing you guys the top 15 most expensive slash rare shoes I've ever sold. Okay, some of the shoes that made this list, they weren't necessarily expensive. They were more on the rare side, or at least at the time, they weren't that expensive when I had them. It took me a while to compose this list, and I'm sure I could have missed some shoes because I've sold thousands of shoes now, but this is to the best of my knowledge. knowledge. So starting off at number 15, it's the Nike Dunk Low SB in the Heineken colorway. This one's from 2003, and it just keeps getting more rare and more expensive. Now this is crazy, the first pair that I had of them, I only sold for 183 after fees on GOAT. Now brand new, they go for upwards of three dollars to $5,000. I had one more pair that I had valued around $2,000, but it was from a mystery box I got from Saru General, and I ended up shipping that back to them because it wasn't worth enough. So I didn't technically sell that pair. Moving on to number 14, it's the Jordan 5 Shanghai Shen. Now this was an exclusive release only to Shanghai, China. They released in 2013. The pair that I had, I didn't technically sell it. I believe I traded it, but I had it priced at 385. I actually had two pairs of those. It was a size nine and a half and a size 10. One pair I actually wore once to a sneaker show. And funny story about that, the second I put them on, I immediately stepped in gum. So that kind of bummed me out the whole show, but luckily I was able to clean it off after. This next pair is the Jordan 9 Premio Bin 23. They were limited to only 1,331 pairs. I had two very lightly worn pairs in a size 9. They were at different times. The first one I sold was for 520, and the second one was for 580. Both pairs I had hoped to sell them for a lot more, but they took forever to sell, so I had to settle on a lower price. The last sale on StockX was 1,500, but I guess just being used, they were harder to move. Coming in at number 12 is the 2011 Dornbecker 4. I've had three pairs of those. The first one was in December of 2017. That one was a trade. And then I had a size 9 that I sold for $5.90. So that's what I'm valuing this one at. Now they've obviously gone up a lot in value since then. I'm just valuing it at whatever the highest I sold a pair was for. And I also had a grade school pair that I didn't sell for very much. Number 11 is the Jordan 13 Ray Allen PE. This was a player exclusive originally made for Ray Allen, who played on the Celtics, that's why the colors are in white and green. I had a size 8.5 that I sold for 620. Now this was the same thing as the Bin 23 Nines. It was hard to sell in used condition, that's why I got lower than I expected. Number 10 is the 2013 Dornbecker 5. Now these technically go for less than the Dornbecker 4s, but I never sold a pair of these, I just had the one and I traded it, but I had them priced at $6.45, so that's what I have to price them at on this valuation. Coming in at number 9 is the Air Jordan 4 Cause. Cause is a graffiti artist that collaborated with Jordan Brand. I sold the size 10 in 2017 for $7.59 after fees on GOAT, and then I sold the size 9.5 in 2018 for $6.53 after fees on GOAT. Obviously they're worth a lot more now, but that was just then. Coming in at number 8 was the Union Black Toe Jordan 1. This was a collaboration with Union Los Angeles and Jordan Brand. I sold a size 10 for $8.95. Now some runner-ups are the Storm Blue Jordan 1 Unions. I sold a size 10 that was used for $6.80. And then a year before, I sold a size 9 for $600 brand new. Now obviously those are really low prices considering they're going for over $2,000 now. But at the time, that price made sense. Number 7 is the original 2015 Shattered Backboard Jordan 1. Now I've had lots of used pairs and I've sold them way under what the market is today. The brand new pair I also sold under that, but for this list I'm just counting the brand new pair because that's the most expensive one I sold. I sold a brand new size 10.5 for $1000. Now they're going for around $1500 today. Coming in for a tie at number 7 still at $1000 is the Nike Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoon. This was a collaboration with Round 2 owner Sean Witherspoon and Nike Air Max. This has been one of my favorite shoes of all time ever since I've seen it. I've had countless pairs of them, and I've sold used pairs anywhere from high 400s all the way to mid 800s. The price varied as the market went up on them. The pair in this list was a brand new size 8.5 that I sold for $1,000. 
Now they're going for more around 13 to 1500, but at the time that was around what they were going for. Coming in at number 6 was the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott. I was very lucky to get these on release date. I got them on sneakers for a retail price of $250 plus tax, and I ended up selling them for $1,020. Now they barely go for $700 brand new. The price has decreased a lot. At one point, it was even lower. I'm not sure why they decreased so much, but I'm glad I made such a good flip on them. Number five is the Off-White Jordan 1. I believe I've had three pairs of them. I sold a size 8.5 for $1,200. That's the one I'm counting on this list because I sold that one for the most. And then I sold a size 9.5 for $1,100 and a size 10.5 for a little over $1,000. Now they're going for nearly $2,000 brand new, so they've increased in value as well. Coming in at number 4 is the Nike Air Yeezy 1 in the Blink colorway. These are from 2009 and I sold them for $1,387. I got them in a mystery box in 2017. And if you guys saw my last video, I said I traded them, but I looked back and I actually sold them on GOAT. Now today, they go for around $3,000 brand new. I remember I took an offer on that because they had been sitting on GOAT for a while, and I was just happy to sell them. I still made a little bit of profit on them. Coming in at number 3 is the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. Now, I've had a lot of pairs of these and sold them for all different prices, but the one that I'm counting on this list was a brand new size 9.5 that I sold for $1,400. That's the most I've sold a pair for. Second to last place coming in at number two is the Nike Dunk Low SB in the Chunky Dunky colorway. This was a collaboration with Ben and Jerry's and they were pretty limited. I had a size nine and a half, 10 and 10 and a half. I sold them for $1,500 each. Now last but certainly not least, coming in at the number one spot is the Nike Air Yeezy 2 in the Pure Platinum colorway. These released in 2012. And I got my pair a couple years ago from round two. I traded for them and ended up selling them on GOAT for $1,436. Now this is less than I sold the Chunky Donkeys for, but just since this shoe is a lot more rare and it goes for upwards of $5,000 brand new now, I thought it deserved the number one place. That's gonna do it for this video. This video took a long time to edit, so if you guys like these kind of videos, please make sure to like, comment, and share this video. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at campskicks.sc. Thank you guys and have a great night.